Page 27, Contradance. This lesson they're talking about passing the thumb under in the right hand. But again, if you've been doing the scale videos like I've been asking you to, you can already do this. So this is a piece of cake. They show the C major scale up above? Yeah. Piece of cake. And not go that fast, but you can already pass the thumb under. So let's look at this dance thing. It's four lines long, treble and bass clef, no sharps or flats in the key signature. We're in the key of C major, so make sure you're doing the C major scale. One octave up and down is fine. Four, four time signature, and we're coming in on a pickup beat, so we're coming in on beat four. The first three beats of that measure are at the bottom. Yeah, the last measure. Let's take it one hand at a time, make sure we understand what these hands are doing. The right hand, they want three, two, one. Here. Okay, that's fine, you need to practice. Four and four and one, two and thumb up. Three rest and a G and a B together and then an E and a C together. Two and then just lift up and come down. To do that again. It's just a C major scale. And stretch up a little bit, third finger. We just changed hand positions. During the rest, come down, F. Stretch up. That is a G there, and then the left hand takes it over, and then at the end of the third line, you come up here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Scrunch up. You're moving around a little bit. We're kind of crawling a little bit. I do a lot of that on piano. That's why you need to get a feel for the keyboard, because then you can feel where you need to go without necessarily having to look at the keyboard. Left hand, well, it's here. It's four, and then second measure, full measure, it's 4N. Now they have a natural sign there. Here. They don't need the natural sign, it's a natural anyway. It's a courtesy sign, they're just being clear to you. Make sure you play an F natural, because you just had an F sharp. My point is, not all publishers will give you the courtesy sign. So just because the natural isn't there, don't think, oh, it must still be an F sharp. No. Play it as an F natural, because that's what it is. Thumb. And then back up here. Third line down, with left hand plays you here. 3N1, or 4N1. 4 Stretch up. During the rest, come back up here. You're, you're here. During the rest, come down here. And then, and then just come down. Just lift up and come down. Well, that's fine. Put the heads together. And when I first put the hands together, I hesitate, although I don't care. I just want to know when the fingers are working together. So it's here. These are together. And then the right hand is a rest. And then here. And then come down. Don't do that some more. Let's go down to the third line. Over here. takes over. And the right hand's up here. Sometime when the left hand is playing, you got to get the right hand up. When you do that, it's up to you. I usually do it right before. There. Last line, second measure. That's a half note that comes up on beat three. One, two, three. When I play the G, that comes up. the hands out together and then go back over the tricky spots and iron them out and go through the whole thing a few hundred times or whatever and get rid of any hesitations. Keep it as slow as you want to go. It doesn't matter right now. Just no hesitations. Then I think about the articulation. We have slurs and staccatos and things. At the beginning, can I pretend that's all slurred together? Again, that's all slurred together. So in the second line, I'm slurring almost the whole line together, all the way to the rest. 
These are not phrase markings, these are slurs, and you don't always lift up before and after slur. Remember, all a slur tells you is to connect the notes within the slur. The second line, I'm connecting it all the way across to the half note, now, yeah, in the right hand. Then I lift up for the rest, and then we get staccatos. Just real wrist, real short. Last line, connect it all the way across. Connect all that together. And for the dynamics, well, they don't give you any dynamics until the last line. You get a diminuendo and a swell is what it's called. The two hairpins. You swell up and back down. You get a little louder and back down. I don't know, somewhere in the middle. Keep these, anything else, soft in the background. Second line, you get that swell too. So I went, kind of went up the loud and back down a little bit. And then, and however you were at the beginning, this is how you are at the end of the second line. Now in that last measure, that technically stays down for three counts. One, two, three, off. Because so, if you want, you can go ahead and lift it up with the left hand. Lift them up together if you'd like. That's interpretation. There's no one way to interpret something. You, you feel it. How do you feel it? Keep in mind it's a dance. People are going to be moving to it. It's a happy thing, I'm assuming. dance. Feel it. Happy. Be happy. Let's play it together very, very slowly and check the notes and the rhythms. I'm not going to do any dynamics. Louds and softs? No. I will do the staccatos and stuff. Remember the natural accents? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. That's why on these four, one. Four, here. Go to here. I'll put a little accent on that first beat of those measures. It's part of interpreting it. Anyway, I'll give us four counts. No, three counts. We come in on beat four. One, ready, and go. And four. Two, three, and. and. Mm -hmm. 